on our last video we talked about simple calculator using Python today we will be doing an ATM a prototype using Zen Python so I've got my code written already but I'm just gonna explain a few steps for you here in this program we'll be creating uh, functions function that will be holding different keys and function that will be holding the pin so the first function we have here is the pin function and this pin function you know the first time you enter an ATM or you go to withdraw money from the ATM uh, you are asked to first insert your card secondly you ask to insert your pin a four digit pin and exact pin is not four digit you are not it's not gonna work and if your pin is not correct it's not going to work so that is what I have right here so for so I said print welcome to Davison Bank of Commerce DBC in trial street trial year means um, that we have three times to impute our password if the three times our password is not correct the program will exit secondly you have um, the new pin function the new pin and um, variable that carries the four digit pin is said in insert please create a four digit pin and if the length of your pin is not equal to four error only four digit numbers are allowed please try again then we call off a pin function here that means pin function it makes you makes it, uh, the, the program to go back to where you're supposed to impute a pin again so a leaf length strain is equals four while try as zero and the pin equals integer please enter your four digit pin this is our confirmation now if the end pin is equals to new pin pin correct and it's supposed to put the pin twice the first put the second is for confirmation okay please i'm supposed to put here please enter your pin please confirm confirm that's what i'm supposed to put here okay confirm confirm your four digit pin so if end pin is for new pin print or pin and menu go back to menu where you get to do some yeah this is a menu there uh, function where you're welcome to the bank then here you make some selections what you're going to do with the bank ATM so that's how it works so these are the entries the first entry is for account balance if you want to check balance account balance equals 5000 this is the default account balance for this program now if entry is one where is one one which is the menu in the menu function so selection one says select from menu one deposit money so selection one means deposit money so so deposit is float input and amount of your deposit yeah, if deposit is greater or equals to 1000 1, so let me say not float see it so sorry case sensitive Int. so let's save this okay if the deposit is 1000 greater or equals 1000 account balance this is the increment function where we have the plus equals this is the same thing as saying account balance equals account balance plus deposit all right okay so print deposit successful then print the account balance now else prints minimum deposit is 1000 shillings that means any deposit below 1000 is not going to work so this is going to be supposed to be dollar oh no let's just use the dollar sign Okay, so deposit minimum deposit is one thousand dollars. So account balance equals account balance. That means if your deposit is less than one thousand dollars, the it won't be successful. So you say yes. Your print statement says it also. It says your balance remains the balance dollar. So entry two that means withdrawal. Say float. I'm not supposed to be using. Okay, float is good for here. So yeah, let me use float here too because I might having some point something so that is why okay 
So now, withdraw our float, how much would you like to withdraw? Amount should be in the range of 500 to 30,000. So if your amount you want to withdraw is less than 500 or more than 30,000, the program will exit. So that's why I have this condition here. If withdraw in the range of 500 to 5,000, so that means yeah it's not correct so i put 5000 here so if we draw in range that means it's a zero deposit account so that means i can withdraw any amount that is up to the deposit that is even up to the balance in my account so if we draw one in the range of 500 to 5000 say account balance is is the increment function you say this is the same thing as saying account balance equals to account balance minus withdrawal that's why i'm having account balance minus equals withdrawal so print withdrawal successful print your balance is this this is the main balance so now else invalid amount please we try so after explaining this i'm gonna, um, so we're gonna uh, execute the program so we we'll see how it works so entry it remains please yeah Dear student, your balance is this. So this was it. I made this as a student account for school, but now I've changed it. So because I'm posting this for everyone to see, I'll change it. Say, dear customer, let's use a bank. Um, wherein so dear customer. Okay. Dear customer, your balance is this. Okay, now I leave prints. Please enter valid input. Okay. This else here means if your 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 input your input is or from the selection is not from one to three. If you input four, it won't work. If you input zero, it won't work. If you input five, it will have input from one to three. So now this is the menu. This is the menu that calls up the function. So we print welcome to the vision band. Please select integer. Select from the menu. This is the menu function. This is and deposit money two for withdraw money three for check balance so if selection equals one dbc one so this is carries them this is dbc dbc is this function the main function that holds the atm okay now and so on and so forth now let's print let's execute this program and see how it works okay Okay, it says here, welcome to the Western Bank of Commerce, DBC. Please create a four digit pin. I will first of all create a new pin. I say 2234. It says, please confirm your four digit pin 2234. Now, create pin. Proceed. Welcome to Bank Davison Bank. Select from menu 1, deposit money 2, withdraw money 3, check balance. So I say 1 for deposit. Enter the amounts. To deposit so remember our function says our program says in deposit below 1000 it will not deposit so i will deposit first for deposit them um, 1000 now deposit successful 6000 is now our balance thanks for using dbc please confirm your four digit pin to continue again if i say let me say i put a wrong pin one two three four you see it now says they are entered pin does not match remaining two more chances so please confirm your four digit pin if i say two two three four that was the former pin it works so say please select from menu the same thing so let's say well let's say we want to withdraw money so let's use two and remember our function said if if a uh, a uh, uh, deposit yes yeah, sorry our withdrawal is in the range of 500 to one uh, five thousand the program works but if it is less than 500 and more than 5,000. The program does not work. So let's say 500. Okay, withdraw was successful. Your balance is 4,500. So now, yes, from the initial balance of 5,000, because the initial balance of this program is $5,000. So now, each time I run the program, the money still remains the same because this is not the actual machine, but this is. A prototype this is how just you can just make fun with it in Python so let's just keep going let's just keep going uh, doing some transactions so we say please confirm four digit pin I say okay two two three four 
and welcome to Davidson Bank. Let's say you want to check balance three. Our balance is five thousand. So that's how. So if I want to exit from this program now, I can just type um, enter. Okay, program has exited. So that is how just to run this. I've clicked my console. Okay. So guys, this is just how to make a fun programming with Python doing just the ATM. So next time we'll be doing um, a chatbot. Okay, bye.